Hey folks, in the last video tutorial I have explained to you how it's possible to define the map key and open the drawing with the same name or it's the possible to create the same drawing as the model name. So please check the previous two tutorials and download necessary map keys. Have asked me that if it is possible to increase the efficiency by Creo map keys. So I have created again the file for you. So please go to 4K site and download necessary files. Today I'd like to explain to you step by step what is in these documents. And if you will download, the system will download to you the zip file. And if you will extract the zip file over there will be two files, mapkeyall.pro and mapkeyall PDF file. If you will open the PDF file, you can see that is described what I will use and what I would like to show you. Today I'd like to focus on the general map key and sketch map key and slowly and surely I will create ad additional tutorials with Creo map key. Okay, so we can start directly from scratch. So what is necessary to do? You can simply open the map key all pro and you can choose the map key what you want. For example, you would like to use the navigation map key or for example, you would like to use for you only the general map key or a couple of them. So please select the file and check. Everything is same as in the PDF file. So if you will go through the PDF file, yeah, over here at the first is navigation map key, then is general sketch map key and so on and so on. Today, I'm going to import the necessary file. So I don't want to go step by step, but I'd like to import all necessary map key. So you can simply copy all information from map key all pro file to config pro, or you can select manually map key all pro. If I will open this file, the system will load all necessary map key for me. In the past, if I will create new 3D model, in the past, you remember that I have explained to you how to work with navigation map key. So simply and surely and quickly, if I will create some base shape model, you can see that nothing special. I'd like to only show you that how the navigation map key are working. Okay, so we don't want to see the datum planes, for example, and you would like to see here that is the orientation. What does it mean orientation? You would like to see anything from the front. So you can select this icon. If you would like to select from the left, you can see it from the right, from the top or from the bottom. If you would like to speak in 3D or see model in the 3D, it's fine. And if you would like to use the normal view, you can quickly and easy select normal view. If I will use the control 2, the system will show me the edges on the 3D model better for orientation. Yeah, and same like here. If you will continue on the keyboard sequence from the keyboard, you can see that, for example, if I will select the 58, the system will show me from the top. Yeah, and if you would like to select the from the bottom, it's 52. It's really easy to remember because have a look on the keyboard. From the right is 56 and from the left is 54. Same here in the documents that everything is here. If you would like to rotate horizontally, you can double click 11 or double one, yeah, and rotate vertical 33. So for example, one one and three three. And you can see the system will run map key and spin the model Every, every time to 90 degree. So it was the from the previous one, but really good one. General map key. I can show you here that, for example, if you would like to read this file, many, many times I'm using the logic, for example, edit definition. So we will use the ED or, for example, open part OP open assembly OA, but again, you can use the F2, F3, F4, because it's only one button. 
model check mc and for example yes measurements it's not necessary to use me or something different so i use only double m and purge it's pu because it's really near here pu and the system will purge or necessary object from the working directory and save model again it's better to use only ss as the sa and so we can have a look quickly we can check a couple of them if it's working so we can arrange the window and we can check edit definition what does it mean ed if you will select any feature and it, you know that is to select feature wait really short time and then select this icon edit definition default from creo is Control e i like to use my custom one so you can see that edit definition and the system will automatically jump where i need if i will select sketch and again ed from the keyboard the system automatically jump into sketch if we will select chamfer or additional feature what are in the model tree ed the system will automatically show me the object as i create and if you are in the assembly the system will select edit definition in the assembly mode functionality eq is the exit quit if you select eq the system will automatically close every creos windows and you can go home so without a question without nothing the system will close everything i use it while i finish my work everything is saved and i use the eq and the system will close everything open part you can select f2 and the system will filter the part here if you will select f3 it's assembly and f4 it's the drawing automatically so for example if i will select working directory yeah i will select working directory the lego like last time and for example we would like to open only assembly you can use the f2 f3 f4 for the model assembly and drawing and open part open assembly open drawing yeah so for example open assembly oa and the system will filter everything as the assembly really great if you would like to open the drawing od or f4 yeah and you can see the only drawing directly in the folder model check if you will create 3d model or open 3d model and if you would like to run model check you don't want to select file prepare and model check it's a three clicks here and if you are in the assembly then system asks you again if you would like to use the top or sub assembly and if you are in the drawing again some additional questions so three four clicks but if you will use the mc from the keyboard the system will automatically run model check so it's really easy and at the behind the system will regenerate model spin model and save so more than three clicks are behind okay map key to record if you would like to check what kind of map key do you have or you would like to create your custom one many times you need to select file option and so on or you need to select here and write the map key so many times i'd like to create something like temporary map key so i don't want to go and select these three four clicks so simply you can use the mk and the system will open necessary window for you measurements if i will open part yeah op or f2 and i will open any kind of model doesn't matter we would like to make some measurements between two planes mm really quickly and the system will select the filter here as the surface and then again the second filter is again as the surface it's really useful and really nice again if you would like to measure something different double m and select additional two surfaces here's of course you will ask me if you would like to select something like cylindrical surface or measurement between cylindrical surface and additional surface everything's were fine if you would like to change it later no problem you can run the measurements and then for example you would like to select not mm, surface but 
something different, no problem. Please select drop down menu, select the edge, and then continue with your measurements, for example, between two edges. It's only very simply and quickly to run analysis to measure. Purge. If you will create the 3D model and if you will store this 3D model, the system will create first iteration, second iteration and so on in your working directory. You would like to erase every old object. So what is it good? You can simply run the purge functionality and many times you have to open the separate window and so on and so on. Right now, if I would like to do it like this, I will use only PU from the keyboard. Yes, right now you can see that system ask me to be careful because the P is shortcut definite by Creo. Okay, I don't care. I have my custom one, so I will use the PU and the system will run the command prompt at the behind and run purge functionality. And right now my working directory is absolutely with not old models. Quit window. If I will select the quit window, the system will close the window and all object has been erased. So what does it mean? If you would like to have an empty RAM in Creo, you will use the QV. It's really dangerous eh? because it's near here. You can see on the keyboard that QV is, but you can change your custom one and specify your custom key sequence. No problem. Yeah, if you don't like the QV, because yeah, some colleagues said that it's a little bit dangerous if you are working and you would like to write something and you miss, you have a misclick on the QV, but it's up to you. So no problem. Open the file, jump here and Control F and space QV and space. The system will found for you the necessary map key. Yeah, this one. And you don't like the QV, but you would like to, for example, Q1, no problem. Please change as the Q1. Yeah, save file. Or maybe the copy this Q1 only into your custom config profile. So we will apply it here. And it will be not so many map keys. And I will save. Yeah, so right now I would like to load this file, no problem. We will open the configuration editor and I will import the config.profile and you can see here right now the map key Q1 is here and if I will select Q1 the system will close the window. So I will open some file, doesn't matter. And right now Q1, boom, perfect. Last but not least is the save model. So no problem, we will open some file for example, this one, and you can see if I will show it here. Yeah, I will make some modifications so we can change the color, for example. And doesn't matter for now. And we would like to save this model so you can again use the double S. The system will show you that S exists in the default. OK. And the system will spin the model, regenerate model and save the model. So this save functionality is really cool. Okay, it was first part of the explanation how to increase your efficiency with Creo Map Key. In the next tutorial, I will continue with modeling Map Key and Sketch Map Key. Please stay tuned and bye bye, Vladimir.